Now, here's a picture of my dog. Here's my dog. I've not seen that face on her before. Doesn't seem to look too impressed. But anyway, it's not about her. It's about this picture frame. This is something which is... In yeah, she's still not impressed. Okay, I'm going to swap it. This is the picture of my dog. Now, this is the same picture of my dog, but on a computer screen. There is a massive, massive difference. Because the picture you're looking at above is actually a digital canvas. Now, this is an incredible piece of technology that will display almost anything, but it makes it look like it's been printed. And this goes the same for actual paintings as well. Let's take a closer look. Don't forget to hit the red button to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and click the notification bell to get my next video first. So the team at Canvia Art have created this digital canvas. Now they're using paint and pending ArtSense technology to create an image which looks exactly like what a canvas would be or what a photograph printed and put in a frame would be. And it is quite incredible. This has 16 gigabytes of storage and that will hold up to 10,000 images. But I cannot stress enough how realistic this looks like a normal photograph or a normal painting. In fact, when you zoom in, you can almost see the detail of the brush strokes. Now, any flicker that you might see on this image is just my camera reacting to the screen. You do not see any of that in reality. But this is... It's quite disconcerting. It is absolutely astounding how accurate this is. Now, you can download a huge range of art, and I'll show you that in a second, or you can create your own playlists with your own favourite photographs. This is a photograph I took in Thailand, this in Abu Dhabi, and again, they just really look like photographs being printed rather than actual images being shown on a screen. Now, I know that that doesn't come across quite like that when you're watching it on this device, but in reality, it is quite astonishing. This is the same photograph of my dog, and as you can see, there's no glaring from any light. And if I do move to the angle, you'll see that it almost looks as if it would if it was a photograph printed. And in some ways, the image is actually better. Here we've got a shot of the Burj Khalifa from when I was in Dubai, and the vibrancy of those lights really stand out on the screen compared to the actual printed photograph where it's a little bit duller. But it still looks like an image on the left. And you don't get any of the reflections that you might get because it's in a glass frame. So in some ways, there's even more advantages. But if you're keen on art, then this is where it really comes into its own. You can download hundreds and hundreds of different paintings and have them displayed. And I'll show you the interface online in just a second because this is just incredible and there is absolutely no way that if you had one of these up that anyone would be able to tell that this was an image on a screen rather than just an actual painting. It is that good, it is that convincing, it is unbelievable. Another clever feature is the ambient light sensor on the side. Now this will adjust the image on the screen compared to how much light there is in the room. Now obviously if you've got this in a bedroom for instance, or at night when there's less light, you don't want this pumping out a very bright image. So as soon as you cover it, it will go very dim indeed. And the more light that gets let in, the brighter it will become. And that reflects exactly what would happen to a normal picture in reality. The one thing that makes this unlike a standard frame is the fact that it will need power, and so you do need to bear that in mind when you're considering where you're going to position your frame. Now, there are several slots on this as well, so you can use an SD card and you can also use a USB. There's also some other ports, but I'm told that they're just for programming at this stage. Now, if you are interested in the art side of things, I definitely recommend you check out the website, and I'll leave the link in the description, because here you can go in and search for various different artists or different types of paintings, whether it be landscapes or whether it be contemporary work, and you can add them to your queue, and then you can have them like a really impressive slideshow. 
You've also got the ability to completely change how often it changes. You can have one picture all the time. That's absolutely fine. You don't need to worry about things like screen burn or anything like that. You can also do what I'm doing now, and that's upload your own images. One thing that I would say is that the ability to upload and to change all the different settings, I found far easier using my computer rather than using the app. If you give your own photographs information like title and description, maybe where it was taken from, then you can choose to have that displayed on the screen. You can do exactly the same with the artwork as well. Who is by, when it was done, and therefore gives you a little bit more information. And you can choose to have that in big format or smaller or even just down in the corner. You don't have to have it displayed right across the image. Although the uploading of the photographs is easier online, you can definitely go in and change all of the status, the orientation, the artwork captions, all of those things via the app is very, very simple. Now, when I first saw the cost of this, I did think that it was quite expensive and I thought that how can they justify it? But honestly, guys, the moment I turned it on, I thought it was incredible. Now, I've not been paid for this video. It's literally my own thoughts and every single person that I've shown this frame to thinks it's absolutely amazing. This frame comes in a number of different styles, and I'll leave the link to the website so you can check them out for yourself. But it's very, very impressive no matter which one you go for. The measurements are 27 inches by 18 inches by 1.6, so it's a really nice size to hang on any wall or even sit on a shelf. But do remember, you do need to have that power source. Another nice feature which they explain more on the website is the revenue share with new artists. So with the included premium collection, which is worth $120, new artists will get a revenue share of that, which is a really nice feature. And there's more information on the website. So guys, another great feature finally that I really like is the ability just to quickly take a photograph on your phone and then send that up to the actual frame. It works really well and it's very, very impressive. And again, it's another way that you can impress your friends and family very quickly. So overall, my friends, I'm absolutely blown away by this. I think that yes, it's expensive. It definitely is quite pricey, but it's worth every penny. When you first see this, if you've got this type of money to spend, you will not believe how accurate and realistic not only your own photographs look as standard photographs, but also the artwork that's displayed. So I can understand why it's the price that it is. And I think there are some offers on, so make sure you check out the links in the description. Guys, that's it for this video. Let me know what your thoughts are. I look forward to seeing you on the next.